Well, hello there, everyone. I'm here to show you right here. I'm talking about traffic lights right here. And uh, what exactly does that mean is when uh, we see a traffic light? Is that just uh, another way of how you want to cause this toward a typical Christmas lights looking season? Or like anybody say, it's supposed to give you, what do you call that, the, t the source of traffic speed uh, signal toward that when it's okay to go ahead and go and go in when it's your turn. You know, that source of saying... But a lot of times it sure seems that way that every time we think about this right here and that you're always thinking as to where that, yeah, well, really, you know, that the the red light is usually the the top light that is usually the biggest. So half the time you want to know, that uh, that every time you look at that, the lights, though, and you want to know, too, that, uh, you know, yeah, usually uh, the red lights are usually the, the ones that are indicating, you know, for maybe for the... For the warning, the hot zone or something like that. But a lot of times, everybody will want to know too uh, that you know you always want to know too that um, if it goes by the categories, it's toward the, the zones, you know, by labels. <laughs> yeah, what exactly does um, the the red light that means the red, and then you got you know the the yellow. And then you got the green light, right? So you want to know too that um, if red pretty much meant to were, you know, take the airplane instead or take the subway instead or something like that. But like everybody else might say that, you know, red usually means, you know, stop. Red means stop, but then it could also uh, maybe mean uh, to where that, uh, you know, you had to... Uh, merge to your left, you know, just to be able to make that turn or something like that, or if you have to, you know, you know, yield to, uh, your know, oncoming traffic coming from eastbound or southbound or something like that. So every time we think about that traffic, though, uh, all we necessarily thinking about is to where, um, that we're not talking about just traffic straight ahead, right? We're talking about traffic that, that you're not, you're not just straight ahead, Yeah, not just straight ahead, ahead, but uh, the traffic, uh, the traffic around us. Yeah, that's right. The traffic around us. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, you know, uh, you, and we might even think that uh, we're talking about traffic usually between the hours and mm -hmm. one and. And 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, that usually the traffic's pretty slow. But it sure seems that way that every time we think about a traffic light right here, you're going to be driving by and looking at the lights right here. And a lot of times it seems like one of them seems to be bigger than compared to the other one. Like, you say, yo, the yellow light. I'm like, you know, really, you know, how many times have we really thought about that to where the, the yellow light is pretty much means it's like anybody else would say too that you know yeah what does what does yellow pretty much mean is to word it uh, ask permission first so let's just say if that was a, a traffic rule like everybody else might even say that you ask permission like and yeah ask permission that if you were to go ahead and I can go ahead and and um, I don't know about it, but, but, you know, still. I was going to highlight that bold, but, you know, still. But talk about for ask permissions or something like that. So let's just say that uh, if a yellow light meant that, you know, toward you ask permission or something like that. Or if anything, uh, that, uh, you know, yeah, that um, this right here is supposed to, uh, you know, it's supposed to be another example. I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that the light is getting ready to turn green and uh, turn yellow. It's, uh, the light is getting ready to turn red, so it's on yellow, and it's telling you that it's it's off green now, and it's telling you to be prepared to uh, be prepared to stop. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. That in case of anybody were to ask that question to her, whenever it comes to driving, though, uh, that uh, you know while you're waiting in a traffic light, though. Uh, you know, does that pretty much mean, you know, to take at least a minute to adjust your rear view mirror? So a lot, a lot of times you want to know, too, uh, that, uh, you know, when do you think that would be a good time to uh, adjust your rear view mirrors? 
So like anybody say, if you're trying to adjust anything in a moving vehicle, for sure, that they'll probably tell you that you'll usually at a traffic light. You know, people might say that, you know, if you're going to be stuck at a traffic light and you're always wanting to know, too, that, uh, you know, what do you think that a lot of those drivers and passengers are usually doing during their waiting times? And let's just say if it's maybe three minutes before the light does turn green, that uh, you're going to go ahead and, and have it to where that uh, you see on there that, uh, you know, hey, that... Uh, you that this we're waiting for this light to change here, and let's just say that yeah yeah you get a flashing light. Let's just say if you do get a flashing light, that that you would see something like a, you know the flashing green arrow or straight or arrow or something like that. But it sure seems that way that each time we think about the traffic light, though, based on your experience, everybody else's experience, that uh, we're not just talking about the typical crayons to where. That the red means stop and the yellow means a yield for your ride away and then that, you know, the light is getting ready to turn red or something like that and then the green means go. So it sure seems that way that, um, that you know, every time we think about something like this right here, we're like, yeah, duh, I know what that means. You know, duh, I know what that is. But you know, by the time you actually get into traffic, and then that you would probably have a, a totally different experience, right? And so that's why it sure seems that way. That every time we think about traffic lights and that you know other sorts of uh, you know lanes, uh, if we're talking about maybe you know two way and three way lanes and all that stuff and intersections and the back roads and uh, also taking detours through different uh, parts of the different lanes and all that, but you're likely to know too that um, the what signs that we have we seen. And I know like you know, a lot of signs I don't have displayed right here, but but that like the signs that I have seen have been over the fact about you know really that um, that what do you think that this sign means or what do you think that sign means right there? So a lot of times that whenever I took a you know like tell people too that I'm like yeah I'm like if it, you know whenever you have your eyes uh, tested though that they're gonna be asking you about that about you know uh, it, you're testing your your vision about to where where. What part of, you know, where do you see this flashing light on the left or on the right right here? And uh, so a lot of times it's like, yeah, if you're, um, and I know a lot of these tests would give to where if they're going to say that, uh, you know, if you could go ahead and look at this traffic light right here and look very closely. And let's just say there's going to be flashing lights flashing on the left and then on the right right here, right? So a lot of times you want to know too that, um that, you know, if you want to go ahead and test your eyes and want to know that, uh, that, yeah, well, really, that, um, that, that, you know, whenever you, uh, if, you know, whenever you are aware of your surroundings a lot of times, and let's just say that, um, you know, that that's another way of how to cause this to where if there's like an emergency, uh, yeah, if there's an emergency vehicle driving through traffic, or maybe that, that there's somebody trying to uh, make it, uh, you know, like, yeah, you know, anything like that, you know, so far as traffic-wise with that, but, but half the time, you always want to know too that uh, with the, the these lights right here, that uh, that the, the red you know the red light appears to be uh, much bigger. We're talking about maybe a, a full size a tomato size right here, tomato size uh, red light right here. So I could put on here the tomato, uh, you know, the tomato size red light. The tomato. Um, size uh, red light so what does that pretty much mean when we see you know like anybody would probably say that if you want to go and kind of consider that which calls something that you would maybe see in hollywood to where why do you think that the light would appear bigger is because of the fact that, that you know yeah if it's been raining if it's been raining and foggy outside you know the weather pan the weather, you know, could also make it look like that that the light is much bigger than what it really is, whichever it is. But by half the time, you want to know too that uh, you know, you know, for what your react, like yeah, what your reaction usually is whenever you do see these. I'm like yeah, what's your reaction? <laughs> and like everybody else would say too that uh, you know their reaction usually is over the fact about that um, that yeah that uh, you know you want to make sure that if you're Maybe in two lanes of traffic, or maybe if you're in three lanes of traffic, or something like that, you want to make sure you know about what lane you're in. But 
On the other hand, it's like every time you look at those lights, though, a lot of times it's like, yeah, especially if you're going to be driving up to them between 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, usually that they're flashing and they'll tell you that, that you'll go ahead and yield your ride away, you know, but by half the time, you always want to know, too, that, um, that whenever it comes to signs, though, that a lot of the signs that you don't usually see each time that you, while you're driving, and let's just say that, uh, you may think that, uh, you know, okay, you see these road signs out on the roads, right? And you want to know, too, that the ones that are considered to be most commonly used, you know, then compared to other signs that you, uh, you know, that you don't remember seeing before. So a lot of times it's like, yeah, well, really, whenever you do come up to a traffic light, you also uh, maybe want to want to pay, you might get to the street signs a lot of times. And a lot of those are going to be labeled on the top of other roads and you know, where that, you know, the pavements, I'm like, oh, yeah, overpasses and all, but, you know, like the road signs and everything, so it's like you're always wondering toward it, um, that, you know, do you really, uh, you know, do you go ahead and maybe uh, stop for about maybe five or ten seconds just to be able to look at a road sign, and you're always wondering that, well, really, that uh, that's whenever GPS comes around, whenever GPS comes available, that you can read uh, the road signs and all that, but, but it sure seems that way that, um, that uh, you know, yeah, that uh, whenever you're going to be driving in U102, that uh, you're looking at your surroundings and that everything don't look recognized. And uh, so that's why it's like uh, every time we think about traffic lights, though, that we're always probably thick as to where that, you know, you go to these states and other parts of, of town and, you're always wondering toward it. You've always thought of that, that, that the red and the yellow and the green have uh, always been about, you know, stop, yield, and go, right? But on your hand, too, that, um, you know, do we ever want to look at a red light as to where that uh, if you're having to change direction and then uh, go ahead and look at the signs or, you know, yeah, you know, if, you're having to, if you're having to change your directions, if you're having to change routes especially, and I know I get this, a lot of times, if you're having to, um, if you have to change routes, if you have to change routes a lot of times, what are the best ways of how to, uh, well, then, to word it, you know, whenever you come up to these traffic lights, and let's just say that if you have to get back onto a road just to turn around, and then, uh, like everybody else would say, too, that, um, that's whenever it seems like that, uh, you know, that, you know, based on your experience that you thought that you only had to deal with maybe three traffic lights, but then after you had to turn around a couple of times, that it seemed like it was 18 traffic lights, you know, or maybe 28 of them, 28 traffic lights. And everybody else, that based on your experience, if you had to make any deliveries or something like that, that, um, you may, you know, it may seem like it was a lot more than that, just because if you had to turn around and then if you did uh, wind up uh, missing your turn a couple of times, and uh, maybe if you did um, have to, uh, you know, read, I'm like, yeah, read the, the signs very carefully just to make sure that you got that the right route and all. But, you know, if there was any construction going on, a lot of time, most of the time it's over construction. If there's, if there's construction going on on those roads, and for sure that they're going to tell you that, you know, you got to take a, a detour. And um, so a lot of times it's like you probably thought is toward it, um, the red means stop, yellow means, uh, you know, caution, and then also uh, the green it means go, right? But a lot of times you always want to know, too, that, uh, that yeah, well, really, that, um, you know, uh, well, was there really a, a time to where the green light pretty much meant is to where that, uh, yeah, that uh, you look both ways and just make sure it's, uh, it's you know, free of traffic, but, you know, still... I, on the other hand, too, also think, is based on my experience, though, that uh, when we see a, a green light a lot of times, when we see a green light a lot of times, that I try to go at least, you know, I, you know, I mean, I, I try to uh, go at least 15 mile an hour, but they'll probably say that, you know, yeah, you know, some of these traffic lights would ask, did you go at least to accelerate to at least 20 but it's like every time you think about the traffic lights, though, that uh, you're always wondering toward it. Yeah, well, really, that uh, that uh, 
with the, the traffic lights, especially the ones that had their own lanes and the ones that, you know, if you had to share a lane or anything like that. But every time we think about traffic lights, though, and you're always warned toward it, yeah, well, most of them are the same. Most of them are the same, but let's just say that if I were to say on here is toward the yellow light, you know, the yellow light. The yellow light, yeah, what, what about the yellow light? The yellow light pretty much means toward it, uh, you get ready. So really, that you, you, why, why do you think that you would want to use it as a meaning for the yellow light? And like everybody else might even say that, uh, you know, yellow, yellow light usually means the cartoon type version, whichever it is. But, but really, that uh, you know, get get ready to, uh, yeah, get ready to stop. But let's just say that uh, if I were to put this in like, a, you know, like a, maybe just like a little bit. Uh, quotations or something like that get ready uh, to uh yeah to, uh you know yeah you know so far as uh um, as uh you know if you want to kind of cause this to word that you'll yell you yellow pretty much means is to where you know get ready to go easy and i could just use that right there get ready to go easy you know, not so hard on the brakes, okay? And, and yeah, not so, not so hard on the brakes. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. Like everybody else, might, like yeah, the brakes. No, uh, no, not not so hard on the brakes, but. But it sure seems that way that each time we think about this, especially if we're going to be in traffic, though, uh, that you're always wondering to where that, uh, yeah, that, you know, whenever it comes to uh, driving, though, that uh, you're probably thinking that uh, to where that um, with all of uh, the traffic that we have seen nowadays and you're thinking as to where, okay, uh, yeah, you know, I used to always think back whenever I was young, that uh, I used to always think that uh, that there should be a sign up on the front uh, part of, uh, of the traffic intersection right there. You know, one of them should include something like, uh, you know, go if you want to or something like that. If I if I can remember, yeah, that was back in 1993 whenever I was driving you with my, my mom and dad both. And I can just remember that... Uh, you know, whenever I was riding, whenever I was riding in the car, that I can just remember that uh, that whenever the traffic was real heavy, I can just remember that uh, you know, yeah, you know, after you're getting back from the carnival or anything else, anywhere else that we were going, you know, I used to always think that uh, you know, if you get tired of traffic to the point where you just want to imagine that there's a sign up on the front of the sign that says like, uh, yeah, go if you want to. Um, So a lot of, I'm like, yeah, well, really, well, what does that mean right there? Well, really, that I, I kept thinking, you know, you know, for that reason that, uh, like everybody else would say, that, uh, you know, during that reason, you know, I was really just really too young, really just to Rick and I just to realize that, you know, that that's one of the reasons that, you know, whenever you, whenever you got cars coming from different directions, that that's one of the reasons why that a lot of those traffic lights are up there is to tell them about whenever it's it's okay to go ahead and go and go when it's your turn and everything. But I used to always think too that uh that yeah that um that the reason why that uh, you would get into traffic and the reason why you had to stop of course was uh, the fact about is as to where that that they're wanna take yeah, they're wanna get a good look at the vehicle or something like that. Or that you know, yeah, that uh, you know, people cannot you know, people are, you know, drivers cannot decide, you know, drivers, uh, drivers, um, drivers and passengers, are, um, having, um, a hard time deciding, uh, where to go. 
So a lot of times, it, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, like a command right there. And like, like everybody else would say that if you're going to be looking at the GPS navigator or Google map for sure, it's going to be different than compared to being in traffic, right? But, but a lot of times it sure seems that way that each time we think about this right here, talk about for the traffic light, that, you know, yeah, you got to wait until, it, you know, until it's your turn. You're just to be able to, if you got cars coming from in different directions, north, south, east, and west, and uh, that's one of the reasons why it's like everybody I say that, you know, whenever you go from state to state and, um, you know, north, south, you know, like, yeah, you, know, you want to put that in order right there. I'm like, I can. I'm like, um, north, south, east, and west, you know, but in case if anybody were to ask me that, um, you know, if you were to, like, if that's supposed to be like a, maybe like a Jeopardy type question right there is to where that, uh, you know, how do you, uh, how do you pronounce north, south, east, and west in alphabetical order? You know, I guess that would be like a trivia question right there. You know, what comes first? Is it north, is it south or east? South or east? And, you know, how do you say those in alphabetical order? You know, and I, I can tell everybody too that that sounds to be a very complicated question right there to answer. You know, how do you put those in alphabetical order and, uh, you know, how do you pronounce them? Uh, in uh, alphabetical order, and um, if you put that put that in alphabetical order right here, and uh, you'll want to know too that uh, well, really that uh, if you put those in alphabetical order, then you could also be wrong about maybe what when what speed that you know the wind is coming from or something like that. So if you talk about maybe a weather question or something like that, you would think that that would be a little bit more confusing right there. So. Let's just say that uh, if you try putting a lot of this uh, right here, I'm like, yeah, a lot, a lot of that right there. If you try putting a lot of the other uh, directions right there in alphabetical order, then uh, for certain, then uh, you know you're talking about that uh, you know really that uh, you would not really make any sense anyhow, even if they were in alphabetical order, because maybe the fact about that there is a difference between the direction from where you came from and the direction from where you are now. And uh, so it's like anybody who might even say that um, that there's a difference between the direction from where you were coming from and, of course, the direction from where the wind took you to. And uh, so you'll want to know, too, that, that you know, that's right there is supposed to be a question any teacher would maybe want to ask anybody is this toward it, uh, you know, that, that, you know, wind, you know, wind, you know, wind is um, is force, right? I guess if you want to kind of call it, it's like wind is like a force. A, w a wind, uh, your wind is like a force, right? Wind is force. It's a, it's like a power force, uh, you know, by, uh, by, by, I don't know if you kind of call, call it by currents or anything, but, but if we were to do the studies about this, though, and you're always wondering to where that, um, that uh, from where you're going and from where the wind takes you, um, from where uh, you uh, were coming from, so a lot of times, everybody else might even say that, uh, you know, uh, while you're driving, no, that if you've ever thought of that, to where, that while you were driving, that, um, that, that the wind, I'm like, yeah, the wind is pretty much, you know, like, yeah, there's, there's a, the speed by the wind, and then there's also the speed by the vehicle. So a lot of times, it sure seems that way, that every time we think about that, though, do we, uh, do we necessarily think about that? When uh, we're driving and like everybody else would say that, you know, well, really, that would probably be uh, something that would more likely apply to maybe the air traffic control you know, systems or something like that. But it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, the currency or something like that. But uh, that's something that you know, we're going to really study about. But uh, still, but on your hand that when uh, we speak about traffic lights, though, uh, that each time we think about the traffic light is like, you know, yeah, I know what that means right there. But Really, that uh, if it's going to be a rainy, stormy night, though, and maybe even if it's going to be thunder and lightning, that sure seems that way that you look at those traffic lights and it seems like that, uh, that the lights seem to be blinking and flashing a little bit bigger than what that would usually look like. And so that's why it sure seems that way that each time we think about the, the traffic lights, though, we're also going to be thinking about is, is that, you know, yeah, you has it always you know, meant that, you know, to where this right here meant 
means to go. This part, you know, this right here means to, to look up your right away, and this one right here means to stop. But at the time, you always want to know too that um, that when we do speak about traffic lights, so that you're thinking is to where that yeah, well, really, if you come up to those intersections to where if you got a flashing light though, and you're thinking is to where that yeah, well, really, that um, you know, they say it's usually a stop and go, you know, process, right, to make sure that there's no other traffic coming in, but. But half the time, you're always wondering to where that, uh, yeah, that um, that whenever, if there's going to be technical problems or anything like that coming up, and uh, you're thinking this to where, yeah, well, especially if you're going to be in a hurry to go where you're going, for sure, that uh, you might even think that, um, that uh, just to be able to get through traffic a little bit more easier and relevant, that uh, wouldn't you think that, uh, if anything, that... Uh, you know, if there was a lot of traffic uh, coming from eastbound or from northbound or something like that, and you're warning toward it, yeah, well, really, there are other times of the week where you're able to uh, maybe get to work, at least uh, anywhere you're going, really, but isn't there other times of the week where you seems like that you get there maybe three times faster than compared to normal, and other times to where you get there three times slower than compared to normal? So if you were to actually do the calculations about that, it's like people might say is to word it, yeah, well, traffic lights. Traffic lights, and we know well, what they're there for, but on the other hand, it sure seems that way that uh, if we were to test the yellow right, light right here and at 102, that, uh, you know, really, that um, how often has the red light ever meant is to word it, take the train instead or something like that, but like everybody else might even say, that um, the red light may look like a, a big red tomato right here, but at the same time, you're also thinking about is that it means you to stop. But you know, still, it, it sure seems that way. That um, that each time we look at these lights right here, and that you're thinking is toward it. Yeah, well, really, that um, that whenever you do uh, look at that traffic light right there, I'm like, do we really? Uh, look very closely, you know, you have right here is that, you know, you got the light right here, but then, uh, you're always wanting to know, too, that, um, really, I'm like, well, what do you, what do you think, uh, what do you think that you would, uh, be thinking about necessarily if you see a green arrow right there on the very bottom, and let's just say if it says, you may go now, sir, or madam, or, you know, uh, you, you may go now, young fellow, or so, <laughs> so it sure seems that way that, you know, you may want to know, too, uh, that uh, you talk about other than the magic school bus or whatever, but how often uh, are you really going to maybe see something like that, you know, like, uh, yeah, you, you may, you may see, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, you, you may go now, and uh, there will be like a... I, I really don't know everybody. I'm just I'm just I'm just thinking though. But uh, let, let's just say that um, if there was anything uh, like anybody said, yo yeah, arrows or anything like that, something that looks like a compass or something like that. So it sure seems that way that each time we think about the traffic uh, lights, though, and you're always one oh two that. You know, how often do we think this toward it, uh, that, uh, you know, yeah, that the lights are actually talking to the traffic, but the only time that maybe they would be talking to just one single driver, like anybody would say is toward it, yeah, well, really, you know, I got a message for you, okay, and, or, you know, so, something like that, you know, the, um, the example that I have here, you know, or I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to find an example right here, but, but let's just say that, yeah, let, let's just say that, um, on average that, uh, you see a sign on there, one minute it says that you can't do that, and one minute it says that, you know, okay, uh, you can go ahead and make your left turn now, you know, it's, it's okay, you know, we're allowing you to do it now just because of a, a what reason, or something like, uh, you know, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that anybody say that, yeah, what, well, what do you think it would mean if you would see a sign like that? Or that, you know, with the arrows like that or something like that. But, uh, 
But half the time, you're always one or two. That, um, you know, if you see anything unusual on the roads, and if we're talking about what you call something like um, maybe something maybe related to maybe something that you would see in the fairy tale story or something like that, but. But let's just say that on average, though, that each time we think about a traffic light right here, that uh, all we necessarily thinking about is to where that uh, you you know, we think about traffic lights, but on your hand, you're thinking as to where that uh, you know how often do you think that it would mean as to where if you have a traffic light that's talking to you if you're the one who's. Uh, yeah, if you're if you're on an intersection, and let's just say like everybody else might even say that, uh, you know, uh, you know, if the traffic light is doing something that you don't see every day, and that's something that you really are gonna be thinking about, is as to where yeah, well, all traffic lights are all the same. You know, you may hear that to where all traffic lights are all the same. Well, you know, based on your experience over the weekend, that you may have had a, a traffic light. That, uh, you know, changed, you know, they changed from a red light to a green light within 15 seconds or something like that. Or something like um, that they was telling you that, uh, you know, you may now use this lane or something like that. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that each time we think about uh, the traffic lights here, that you're always thinking as to is toward a yeah, well, really, that, um, that each time you think about a traffic light, you know, do you think that, oh, you know, for any reason at all, that, uh, that, uh, this traffic light is going to say that, you know, uh, you know, I, uh, really, um, the light is going to speak. The light that speaks. I, uh, really, uh, like, uh, the way you drive. I really like the way you drive, and uh, that's why that is, um, I want you to go first. I want you to go first. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, how often are we, I'm like, yeah, whenever you do start a conversation with somebody... Why is it that, that more likely that most of the time somebody's going to tell you that, yo, you go first and I'll tell you my story. So a lot of times you're always wondering to where the why conversations really need to start that way. But a lot of times it sure seems that way that, that you know, really, who has the right of way? I mean, who has the right of way? And a lot of times it sure seems that way that, yeah, well, really... Most of the time, yeah, usually, um, drivers, um, the, the, you know, yeah, the, 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 you know, the, the ones, the, the vehicles, uh, the vehicles first in, you know, the vehicles first. So I guess you could say that, uh, you know, those who get there first usually have the right of way, but, but let's just say on average, though, that, uh, you know, the, the ones painted purple or something like that. How often is that really going to be the rule? <laughs> ones painted purple or something like that. So really, that I, I really... I really don't know if that's really, you know, like anybody say that. I really don't know if that's really going to make a difference or anything like that. But like everybody else might even say that uh, whenever you're going to be driving... The, you know the right the you know the right of the, of the right away and uh so it sure seems that way that you like anybody say that yeah well last time we were able to go first just because we had tickets or just because we had a passes or super savers uh, you know passes or something and, but you know this time you know yeah well now you you'll be able to go first just because that that you know yeah you were in the reserve that in the reserve lane or something like that so so a lot, I think a lot of it has to do with that what lane that you're in uh, the lane so if you're in a if you're in a, the proper lane if you're in a lane where the traffic speed is going to be moving a lot faster than than normal like everybody else might even say that you know I'm sure if they're on the roads now then more likely it's the truckers and taxis and all of them that use it. But, you know, still, like the overpass and everything, but still, that, that you know, there are some 
lanes uh, for what we call you know, toll roads and highways to where that uh, if you're going to be on these lanes, there are some lanes to where that uh, lanes that allow you to go 25 mile an hour, you know, 25 mile an hour, miles uh, miles per hour, and, uh, and there are some lanes that they do say is to where that, you know, yeah, well, really, that you can go... Uh, 25 miles an hour, and then there are some lanes that allow you to go, uh, you know, 75 mile an hour. And some, uh, you know, some, yeah, yeah. Miles an hour and something like that. Some point, some miles an hour. So it sure seems that way, that, you know, like, yeah, mainly, mainly the highways especially, but, you know, still, every time we think about that, though, that it sure seems that way that uh that each time we think about that that uh you're always wondering toward it uh that uh you know whenever you do take on a, a route that, that there are some times to where that one route seems to go uh, a lot longer and sometimes they seem to go a lot shorter than others and you're always wondering about that too but it sure seems that way that you know each time you think about a traffic light right here and that you're always wondering to where that, that, you know, most of them seem to be a lot different, especially if you're coming from what direction that you're coming from. And like you're 102, that, um, that whenever the, most of them seem to look a lot different, and maybe if you don't recognize your surroundings, number one, then that you know for sure that, um, that, you know, yeah, you know, you'll probably have to look both ways just to make sure you know where are you going but a lot of times it sure seems that way that each time you think about traffic light that you're always wondering toward it uh you know yeah that the ones on the east side are a lot different than compared to the ones on the, on the west side like well how are they different well you know uh, the arrows are just so totally different or the yeah one of them says that you can't turn left there but then the other one says that you can and uh something like that and uh so that's why it sure seems that way that every time we think about traffic lights that we're always thinking about, you know, yeah, the right of ways and on, but, you know, still, that, um, but it sure seems that way that each time that uh, we think about road sign tests and everything, and you're always worrying to where that, hey, that, um, that every time you look at the road signs right here that uh, you're always thinking as to where, that, uh, yeah, yeah, that, uh, that we always known what those signs mean right there. But let's just say that, um, uh, that if we see, uh, maybe, uh, you know, flashing, uh, like, yeah, that, you know, anything about what you call, you know, so far as yielding signs and all that. So, so like, let's just say that, uh, that there's, uh, yeah, most of the time it's either, you know, either over, uh, you know, yeah, traffic, you know, coming from right behind you or something like that, but, but let's just say, like everybody else might even say, that most of the time, it's all from behind, right here, so uh, let's just say that uh, most of the time, you know, insurance companies would even say, too, that, uh, you know, from, uh, from signs from behind, um, So a lot, of t a lot of times that you're seeing, yeah, 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 signs from behind. That pretty much means as to where there's traffic uh, coming from behind you and maybe from the side. You like coming from eastbound or northbound or something, you know, something to look out for. But, you know, still, that, uh, but half the time you're always wondering, oh, too, uh, that, uh, you know, whenever we think about traffic, though, uh, that uh, you're always thinking as to where, uh, you know, really, that, um, each time you think about traffic, you might always think as to where that uh, you were trained to pay attention to where the fact about if you get a green light, then that means it's okay to go, right? But, but a lot of times it sure seems that way that, that, you know, if the traffic gets to be pretty heavy and all that due to the weather conditions, that uh, you, know, you try to, uh, you know, take it slow and uh, you know, study it all, but you know, still. But each time we think about traffic lights, though... Uh, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, yeah, that, um, that, you know, have they always been the same from all those years or there are some of them that do want to speak about your driving to where, hey, you know, uh, I like the way that you're driving. So I want to, I want you to go ahead and turn into this lane right here and use this lane or something or, you know, yeah, especially, especially if there's construction going on If there's construction going on for sure. 
with construction going on. When there's construction going on, that pretty much means that, uh, that, that you know, yeah, if, there, if there's construction going on. If there's construction going on, then, um, <laughs> okay, I'm just, yeah, construction going on. If there's construction going on, then, um, traffic, um, different. So a lot of times it seems like it's all about is the fact about you know, just to, to uh, be uh, be alert about uh, you know for what you would see uh, whenever it comes to uh, yeah be alert and uh, so a lot of times it's like yeah you know if you do uh, you may always want to know too that uh, the first time getting there to the location for where you're going it seems like it's a different experience from the time from the time from the experience of getting back and uh, you know from plan A to plan B, that why is it that those seem to be so totally different, even though if it's the same route, but like everybody else might even say, that uh, really, that um, if it's really all about the fact of, uh, yeah, you know, you know, safe driving, but then also, you know, could also be about the fact about that, uh, that whenever you do uh, take a, you take a, a, the same route, but then you just come from a different direction. So I think, yeah, a lot of it has to do with a different direction. If you're coming from a different direction. So people might even say that, you know, different direction. Different, you know, different route. And if you want to also call it known as, you know, for different routes. A different route. It's a different route. And uh, so each time we think about the different direction, different routes... You know, do you also think about that as to where that, uh, you know, you're not, um, you know, you're, you're not really aware of, uh, of how the traffic flow is and everything. And you always want to know, too, uh, that whenever you do take a different route, that you know, you always want to where that you get that you get to where you're, where you're, where you're trying to go within at least, you know, maybe seven minutes timing or something like that. So a lot of times you're always thinking as to where that whenever you do uh, take these uh, different routes, though, uh, and thinking as to where, the, yeah, well, really, there are some routes that do take longer than compared to other routes, you know, just to be able to get to your destination, right? And so you're always wondering to where that, uh, do you think that maybe the traffic lights has something to do with that? Or is it the fact about maybe if a couple of times that you had to turn around because you know, the way things are just uh, are differently in them. But it sure seems that way that each time we think about a traffic light, though, <laughs> thinking is that, uh, okay, yeah, well, really, with the traffic light, that um, when uh, we do speak about most traffic lights, that uh, when uh, we see the traffic light up there, that you think is toward, yeah, well, it don't really mean to go if you want to. You know, this, this, this light right here means go, but then, of course, you still got, you'll be alert about how the traffic is, but, you know, you always want to know, too, that, you know, yeah, with yellow, though, you know, can it yellow uh, also mean, like, uh, let's just say that if you drive up to a traffic light, and let's just say if it is flashing yellow, uh, does that pretty much mean as to where... That you can go ahead and, and uh, like anybody say, that you can you make a U turn right there, and maybe could you possibly uh, go ahead and change lanes or if anything? Yeah, well, really, that, that like everybody else might even say that, uh, you know, maybe if you're just making, if you're just trying to make a right turn right there at that intersection, you know, you're not trying to go straight. And a lot of times they say that, you know, that if you had the red light, that that means that that's supposed to stop the traffic coming in. Uh, from the east side, you know, coming from that direction, right? And uh, so it's like uh, each time we think about that, though, and you're always wondering to where that, yeah, well, really, that especially the crosswalks, especially, especially the crosswalks. Maybe I can maybe ex you know explain it. I'm like, yeah, the crosswalks, the crosswalks that um, you know, I'm sure most of us have used the crosswalks before, and. Um, you always want to know too that uh, with crosswalks, so you know, they they were designed um, to uh, allow uh, pedestrians to 
to allow pedestrians to to uh, walk um, across um, that uh, lane of traffic. Safely, yeah, safely. So it's like, uh, so every time uh, we think about that, you're always wanting to know too that uh, with the crosswalks that uh, that you're always wondering toward it. Uh, you know, whenever I first start using them, I thought that that pretty much meant is toward that the traffic on all four sides of the intersection would remain stopped, and then they would allow you to where you can go ahead and. And cross and uh, but still it's it sure seems that way that like you know the crosswalks especially uh, that uh, you know you thinking as to where that yeah well really that um, they say well really that you know uh, look out for pedestrians right but a lot of times it sure seems that way that every time we think about the traffic lights and, and the crosswalks that uh, that whenever you do use those a lot of times that um, you're always thinking too that um, that, yeah, well, really, that whenever you do use them, that you need to make sure that the drivers can see you. But, but a lot of times, it sure seems that way. That yeah, well, really, if uh, careful in them, but you know, still, you know, I remember I used to always think that that meant is to where that all traffic was to was a stop, so that way they could allow you to cross. But sometimes, though, it's like. You know, yeah, well, the, the drivers need to be able to see you, you know, before you can actually cross. So, you know, anybody say that, you know, yeah, we bought a lot of traffic, you know, traffic uh, incidents that do happen that time. But, you know, still, that, um, but you're likely thinking, too, that um, that each time that we think about the traffic lights and then uh, crosswalks and all that and uh, road signs, that uh, you're always thinking as to where that, um, that, you know, whenever you first start using them, though, and you're always wondering to where that, um, really, that, um, based on your experience, though, is that really that, um, you know, do you really, is there anything that you really like about it and compared to the things that you really don't like about it? And, uh, like, we all probably think as to where it really, you know, for where you're trying to get, for where you're trying to go, number one, but, you know, still... And I can also say, too, that to tell everybody, too, especially if there's construction going on uh, on the roads, that, that that's really like everybody else would say, too, that especially if there's construction going on. But still, but the, the way I think about, though, is that, that you know, when we do speak about traffic lights, that, that there are some traffic lights that uh, you think is to where that, you know, yeah, that the, the yellow uh, usually means that... Um, that that you know, you you the about the red light is about to turn red, so you be you know, prepared to stop and all, but you know still. So it's like uh, you know, you're always warned to word it, um, the red, yellow, and green. But you know how often are we really going to come up to orange? You know, and you're always warned to where really, if there was an orange light. You know, orange. Um, <laughs> And you're always thinking as to where if they, if they had, if they put an orange light right there up on the traffic lights, you know, well, what do you think that it would necessarily mean right there? Well, uh, more likely it would mean as to where that, that you know, yield. So I, I can put like that. So each time, um, oh boy. So each time we think about that, though, that you're you're always warned to were that uh, you know, yeah, that um, yield. I know. Okay, there we are. Yield, you know, yield your right away. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, that each time we think about traffic, though. Uh, you're always warned toward it. Uh, how often do we think that those roadsides are going to be speaking to us? And let's just say that, like anybody say too, that, that you know, really, that uh, you're talking signs or anything like that. But, but it sure seems that way. Each time we think about maybe the stop sign right there. And like I'm thinking, uh, you know, yeah, well, we got the stop sign right there. Or you see these, these other arrows 
right here, one of them, you know, what, what direction is that really pointing to? If we see a sign that looks like that right there, I'm like, well, really, that, um, that, that sign right there, like anybody say that that, you know, does, does that mean that, you know, to go northeast or something like that? You know, yeah, yeah, you would, you would more likely see something like that, especially if you're on the highway. If you're on an interstate highway or somewhere like that, you know, not, not really where there's a traffic light, but, but mainly like on an interstate highway that you would probably see a lot of those signs like that. But like, it sure seems that way that every time we think about traffic lights, though, you're always warning oh too is to where that there are some signs that, that seem like, yeah, but this sign means this or this sign means that. And you're always warning oh too is that, uh, the, yeah, well, whenever you do go, but then, uh, you know, whenever you do come up to another traffic light, and there's another, there are traffic lights that you do come up to uh, coming from eastbound or southbound or coming from, from the west side of town, and you're always warned to where that, uh, yeah, that uh, the ones that um, become two lanes of traffic, and whenever there, there's construction going on, and uh, that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, based on my experience, I would think that maybe the yellow, the yellow would not mean that necessarily to where that uh, be, uh, be aware of that the light is no longer green to where okay. to ask you to be ready to stop whenever you have, have the signal to stop so that that way you can let the, the traffic from the other, from the south you're going, you know, eastbound or southbound, but. We're waiting, you know, for your ride away, right? So that's why it sure seems that way. That every time we think about traffic, though, it sure seems that way. That um, that yeah, you know, I used to always think back when I was younger that uh, you know, uh, yeah, that you know, these traffic lights. It's like you know, you whenever you're gonna be sitting waiting in traffic a lot of times, it sure seems that way. Almost always, as to where that um. You know, where anywhere in the, on that road sign right there, where you know, is there any sign on this red light right here to where it tells you to where that that you know, you just be patient, young man, and that you'll you'll be able to go when it's your turn or something like that. So it sure seems that way that uh, you know, yeah, that red light right there may be like you know, yeah, you know, for what we call Sesame Street. I can tell everybody here, to be quite honest with you, I think I got the idea of learning and studying traffic lights just by watching that TV show, series of Sesame Street. But I tell you one thing, that um, it's like, yeah, yeah, waiting at the at the bus stop, waiting waiting for the school bus or something like that. But I tell you one thing, that um, the each time we think about a traffic light, though, you may even be one or know, too, that uh, how often do you think that maybe one of them could be talking to you and telling you that, hey, you know what? Uh, I actually like the way that you're driving. You know, you can go ahead and use this lane or something like that. So, how often are we really going to experience that to where a traffic light is maybe going to be what you call talking to just one driver and saying is to where you may go now, sir or madam or something like um that you can go ahead and uh, and make your right turn. You know, since uh, you know, yeah, since. Yeah, and most of the time, it's usually on Sundays. Sundays, uh, whenever, you know, yeah, like everybody else might even say that whenever the parking spots are usually free on Sundays or something like that. So, like, let's just say that if you are waiting for a traffic light to be able to get, you know, for you to yield your ride away, you're waiting for this traffic light to change so that way you can find a, a good parking spot. And you're always wanting to know, too, that, you know, you're quite used to the fact it takes about 30 seconds for a light to change, but then uh, find out that, um, that, yeah, you look at the red right there, and while you're looking at the red, that, that you know, maybe you're, I'm like, yeah, like everybody else would say that, if anything, at the same time, you're looking through your rear view mirrors. You're looking through your rear view mirrors just to see what's going on behind you. And like 102, that you're, your rear view mirrors. And you're always wondering, oh, too, that um, your your rear view mirrors, you know, you know, you're wondering, oh, too, if you're waiting for a light to change, and you know for sure that uh, if you're going to be looking through your rear view mirrors, then uh, that's another way of how you want to cause this to where you take 15, 20 seconds to look through your rear view mirrors. And one oh two that, you know, really, I'm like, 
you 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 know you already looked through your rear view mirrors already three three minutes ago mm-hmm. why do you have to look through those again and so like everybody else might say is to where do you considered to look through your rear view mirrors more than compare like yeah okay well normally i listen to the radio while i'm waiting for a traffic light to change you know normally i'm actually checking the, you know the Checking the heating and air conditioning, you know, make, I'm, I'm checking the, 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 the settings, the fan settings or something like that, or yeah, the, um, you know, the things, yeah, the things that you're usually doing, you know, during a traffic light stop, and like everybody else might even want to know too, that, um, that if you were to take at least a minute to look at that, to do something, you know, while you're waiting for a traffic light to change, and some of them that do take longer, some of them that do take three minutes, and, like everybody else might say, is to well, what? What do you usually do? During um, a uh, three-minute um, A traffic stop, and like everybody else would probably say that, uh, you know, yeah, step one would be as is toward it, uh, you know, I, um, I look up behind, or, you know, yeah, I look up, I normally look behind, and then I, I check my rear view mirrors, check, um, my rear view mirrors, And, um, yeah, or you might get a drink, too, you know, you might drink, uh, you know, you may, you may take a, you may drink, uh, no, you may drink, um, You may you know, take some drinks of coffee or maybe soda or anything like that that you got in the car or something like that. You know, you might also even say something like, uh, you know, anything else that you think that you're going to be doing in your car while you're waiting for a traffic light to change. And uh, like I say, that you know, yeah, I'll check your rear view mirrors or if anything, uh, you know, you might go ahead and, yeah, for the most part, adjust to try to adjust your rear view mirrors just a little bit. You know, listen to the radio, and like everybody else might even say that, you know, yeah, most of the time it's listen to your radio. If you got the radio on, more likely you know for sure. Everybody else would say that, you know, I usually have the radio on. You know, I don't really, you know, well, while I'm waiting for this traffic light to change, that's usually what I do. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I don't pull out no, I don't get a book or anything like that to read. I just usually just listen to the radio, but... But half the time, it sure seems that way that when we talk about traffic lights, for the most part, that um, when we do speak about most of the time about traffic lights, because you know, if we've all been in that situation to word it, uh, that you know we don't see just a, a red light, but then we also we we might see other warning signs, like oh yeah, other signs of traffic coming from another direction, and so that's why it sure seems that way that every time we think about a traffic light right here. Yeah, that they say is toward it. Uh, yeah, that uh, oh, it's on. It's on the vision test, especially. But it's like you're always thinking as toward it. Um, that yeah, that you know, if you do see a uh, traffic, if you see other lights coming from the other direction, or if you think that the yeah, yeah, the traffic light is is talking to you and saying is toward it. Okay, well yeah, if you're if you're needing to turn right right here, then you got the right away. But if you need to go straight, you got to wait for your right away and um. So it seems like a lot of times with a lot of these traffic lights that uh, it's like, yeah, you know, you get uh, the green arrow or you might even get a red arrow and you're always warned to where that uh, at least um, there was at least eight signs that I have seen while I was on the road and I was always warned oh too is that, uh, you know, they, I, I pretty much know what they mean, but at the same time, no, it seems like that, uh, you know, whenever there's construction going on, or if anything, that they change the route just just a little bit, and like you know, these different these di- different signs and everything. So that's why it sure seems that way that um, that each time 
when I were going to be going, getting on the road and getting through traffic, and you're always warned to where that uh, you know, yeah, that um, you know, you don't, you know, you may not expect to see those traffic lights there, or you may have to go a little bit slower than compared to other times. I mean, you know, from what what route that you're going to be taking, and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way. That every time we think about the, the traffic lights, though, that uh, you're always warned to where that uh, you know. Uh, you know, have you always thought that the, the red uh, meant stop and the yellow meant uh, yield you know, for your right away and the green meant go? But everybody else might even say that, that you know, yeah, well, really. That, uh, does that also mean that the green is cold, but then uh, the red is hot? And that uh, you know for sure, like everybody else might even say, that um, the red usually means hot. So it's like if you're 102, that... Uh, you know, every time you see the red light, maybe you might be in a mood for spicy food or something like that. Or you might always think that coming up to a traffic light, that uh, you're in a mood to go into one of those fancy shops or maybe in one of those restaurants or something like that. And uh, so that's why you're always thinking is to worry that, you know, yeah, those traffic lights are kind of like trying to tell you something. And you know, like you say that, yeah, well, while you're over there shopping around you can go ahead and pick up you know uh, some of that uh, you know something like yeah grocery items or you can go and check out you go and walk into that store right there and so it's like um like everybody else might even say that uh that every time you think about a traffic light though that uh why do you think that uh, for any reason at all that uh that what's what exactly is coming to your mind whenever you think about that besides where you're going like well really What's really coming to my mind, first of all, is that, you know, to word it, yeah, well, really, that, um, you know, you start remembering things, and, uh, you know, people might say that, uh, you know, really, does that really take you, uh, you know, further to the right or further to the left or telling you to go straight or something, but, but a lot of times, each time we think about a traffic light, though, <laughs> and you're always warned to word it that, you know, some routes that seem to be so totally different than compared to other routes, and, uh, that's why you're always warned to worry that, yeah, well, really, that based on my experience, though, it's like, you know, you just really got to be patient, number one, but but every time we do think about a traffic light, though, and you're always thinking is to worry that, uh, you know, do these three colors right here, uh, you know, really, that there, there's three colors right there, right? You know, the way that they're formed and shaped and all that. But really, if there was an orange, or maybe if there was a brown, or or something like that, like everybody else might say that uh, you know, with the yellow, that uh, with these different traffic lights right here, you're always worrying out too, is to worry that uh, that you know, if you have a, a traffic light, that's maybe going to tell you that uh, that you know, yeah, well, you know, most of the time those traffic lights are going to tell you to stop or go, right? But um, you know, how many of them are really are going to maybe tell you something like is toward it, uh, you know, yeah, well, you know, like, yeah, it's something like uh, what what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, yeah, if there's going to be a, a traffic light that's really uh, that's going to want to try to talk to you and say that, hey, you know, uh, today is supposed to be your special day, you know, today, uh, yeah, well, today, uh, well, we only do this maybe three times a year, if that. So today, uh, we're going to go ahead and ask you to word it. If you can go ahead and, uh, like, yeah, you know, if you, uh, you know, especially like your insurance company or something like that, you know, I'm like, you know, yeah, you know, uh, if it's supposed to be your special day or something like that, or today's supposed to be your lucky day, and why no, too, is it, um, that, you know, whenever, for anywhere you're going to be going, that, uh, why no, too, that, yeah, will you go ahead and, you can go ahead and go first, and then we'll go ahead and go go next. At, you know, so a lot of times it sure seems that way. That every time we think about a traffic light, though, uh, you're always warned oh, too that um, that usually for the most part that uh, whenever you're driving through those traffic lights, that you know you may notice that to where if there is no um, if there is no fifteen minute delay, have a fifteen seconds. I'll just say if there if there is no no fifteen second delay. Um, If there is no 15 second delay, what does that mean? So 
So that's something that we can probably think about, though, is that, that you know, yeah, well, what does that usually mean? And uh, like anybody says to where that, that usually means is to, yeah, traffic, uh, the traffic flow. So it's like, uh, yeah, so I'll look at it that way. And traffic flow. Anybody might even say that, you know, really, a lot of it has to do with the technical maintenance, all that, you know, by, but, you know, still, with the weather patterns, but, you know, still. That's something to think about. But anyway, uh, but talk about, you know, for tough, safe, for, for safe driving. Safety first, you know, but, you know, still, that, um, on your hand, when we do speak about traffic lights, that, uh, you know, likely 102, that, yeah, green means go, and then red means stop. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.